Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back to our channel. So in case if you are new to this channel, means please subscribe to our channel below. Well, now in this video, I'm going to share you so how to take a Windows 11 full backup and restore, and also how to create a bootable disk and how to create a recovery drive. So in case if your system is actually crashed, means so in that situation, so how to restore your backup using that recovery drive. So to do all these things, we are going to use this software, so which is free only. So the software name is called AOMEI Backupper. So this AO AOMA backupper is a free version only and there is also a professional version also so in the AOMA backupper we are going to do all these things so the AOMA backupper is one of the best backupper for your windows 11 pc i have given the link in the description so you can easily download that so once you download it so here is the files and after that just install it as per the instruction and after that now this is how the AOA backupper actually looks like so it's actually very simple and minimalistic software so and it actually comes with a very light in weight so in terms of storage size so this AOMA backupper is comes with a very light in weight so it actually occupied only total size of 300 MB almost so it is only having a 369 MB so it is very light in weight and also in terms of user interface so as you look at here so I am actually using a AOMA backupper professional version and even if you are using a free version also the user interface is a very clean clear and all the options are organized and also you can able to take the backup in the organized manner so and each options are a really good one and there is no ads or bloatware in this software well now firstly on this AOMA backupper so once you open up so here is the home section so this is the backup management in case if you actually taken any of the backups means so all the backup will be listed here and here is a backup section and here only you can able to take all the backups so the first one is a system backup so the system backup is nothing but so where your windows OS installed so that drive only actually takes a backup and this system backup will really helpful for you to recover your PC in case um, during the power failure like that if your system is crashed means so in the previous time if you take the system backup means and you created the recovery means you can easily able to so restore your system as per where you are uh, previously backed up so it will be very useful to you so now once you open the system backup so here is the, all the system related files and here you want to uh, select the location so where you need to save the backup so select the drive you want to save and after that click just to click on the start backup so the backup process will actually start and the backup speed is also good only i have actually backed up about 200 gb of storage so it is backed up in uh, around one and a half hours and uh, once the backup is completed it will actually ask for the aoma recovery environment so this is a recovery tool for you to restore the backup on the boot up in case of system failure so now you want to set it up this uh, recovery environmental settings option so now this is the page first of all you want to enable that check mark option so enable the boot option for AMA backupper and after that just to click on the next option once you click on the next and here is a one dialog box will come so recovery environmental settings so it actually create a recovery environmental setting page it actually takes uh, only less time only once the process is completed just to click on the finish option and that's it now next time if you are actually restarting starting your PC you can now able to see a boot option with the two option one is a windows 11 and uh, one more thing is that AOMA backupper so next time you can easily able to boot the system with the AOMA backupper now uh, once you boot your system with the AOMA backupper so you will get the same application so without starting up the windows you can now able to access the same application and what are all the backups you have actually taken all will be available so it's the same application so you can able to use so during the boot time itself in case if your PC is actually crashed means so now you can easily able to restore that just to click on the restore just click on select task and here is a system backup so you have to take up this backup previously and also make it scheduled for the incremental backup and that's it just to forgot it at any time if your system is actually a crash it means so using this method you can able to do this so just to now click on the system backup and click on the next option now just to click on this restore this uh, system backup and after that just to click on the next option and that's it 
now so this is the source partition and the destination all the details has been given here and there is also one more option at the bottom so during if you are booting with the AOMA backup permits so here is a universal restore so this option need to be enabled in case if you are actually restoring the system to the different hardware means so for example if you are actually backed up this in a different hardware and if you are restoring this backup to the different PC like that means in that case just enable this universal restore and apart from that in case if you are backed up in this PC and you are going to restore in that same PC means so don't uh, tick mark this and after that just click on the start restore option and that's it now it's actually copying all the data so in case if your uh, system is actually crashed during power failure like that means so you can easily restore your system without any data loss so for restoring the system it actually takes some time and also here is a settings option so just clicking on that so here is the option on completion so just a check mark this and after that click on the restart option and select the ok so once the system restore is completed so it will be automatically restarted and you can able to use your system as like previously and next in the backup itself you can also make a disk backup and partition backup so you can create a drive backup so if you have a multiple drive means you can create a drive backup and also you can create a partition backup also so in the drive you will have a different partition means you can select any one of the partition so for which you need to take backup so like that there is a different option for taking backups on your windows lawn pc and there is a file backup also so using this file backup you can easily backup your files or folders if you want to backup a single file or a single folder contains multiple files like that so using this file backup you can do that once you click on that here is a add folder and add file so add the folder so what are the folders you need so just add any one of the folder now select the location to backup that the folder so select here and which you want to backup and after that just click on the start backup and once you done the backup so what are all the backups you are uh, done and all that uh, backups will be shown here so this is named as a task so each backup is uh, named as a task and this is a task name so this is a system task and this is my file backup task and in case during restore so just to go to the restore option and here is a select task option so the task is nothing but so these are all the task so once you click on the select task so here is a, all the created backups so which you want to restore so just to select on that task and after that just to click on the next and here is that particular folder so you can also one more thing is that so what are the backup you are taken you can restore that backup for the specific files or folders also the d drive is actually backed up so in the d drive so this bitcoin folder is actually backed up so in the bitcoin folder in case if you want to back up any specific file means so you can select that as per your wish so what is the file you want you can select that and after that just click on the next and you can uh, restore at the original location also or else you can uh, restore that in a separate new location also so this is how you the restore process will actually works and in the restore process there is also a select image file so using the select image file also you can easily able to restore and actually what are all the backup you are taken which are all actually comes in the single image file only for example in this my file backup so now this is the image file for that uh, my file backup so in this image file only so all the folders and files are actually available available so what are all the backup you are taken so that will be comes under a single image file so that so using this image file only you can again restore that so once you go to the restore so just click on the select image file and after that just browse and select this image file and using this method also you can restore your files so this select image file is really work for you in case if you are actually backed up you can also move this image file to the other pc like that and in that pc just in install the AOMA backup and using this image first restore all the files on that PC so using this method you can easily able to so backup and restore your files so in your PC also or else in other PC also not only the files and folders you can easily backup your drive and as well as the partition so like that you can backup to a single image file and after that just to move that single image file to the other PC and just installing the AOMA backup on that PC and using the restore process with the select image file you can able to restore all that files on that PC so the backup and restore is a really good one and also one more good thing is that so once you take the full backup means all the backup will be shown here and after that 
you can do the incremental backup like once you press the menu option of the any one of the backup so that is a backup option and here is a incremental backup so the incremental backup is nothing but so once you take a full backup of a folder means so after a one or two days in that folder if you additionally add some of the files means so using this incremental backup so it again take the backups for the additional files only so for example for this backup once you go to the properties and once you go to the version so here you can able to find so how many versions the backup has been done so firstly the full backup has been done and after that incremental backup has been done so and both files are separately backed up so as you look at here so this is the first full backup file and this is the second full backup file so the incremental backup will be the default ones and you also want to use that because once you take the full backup and after that what are all the additional files is coming into that folder or drive so that particular files only backed up so that the backup file size is also less and also the time consumption is also less so the incremental backup will be really the good one and once you actually taken the full backup means and after that just click on the menu and here is a schedule option so just to click the schedule option so by default it will be the turn off condition just to enable that and select whether you want daily weekly monthly or like that so select the weekly or and select the day and time like that and after that click on the backup scheme so in the backup scheme the default method is the incremental backup and that's it so and after the just click on the okay so now whenever if you actually taken the backup means so you want to do three things in this aoma backup or professional so just to do the full backup and after that schedule the backup with the incremental backup and that's it and forgot about it and all the backups will be taken periodically by the aoma backup or so without any issues and at any point in case if you want to restore means just to go to the restore option and select the task and uh, you can able to find here and also for uh, all the backup files you can able to find the so versions so just to go to the properties and here is a version so what are all the version the backup has been taken and all will be available here so you can also select any one of the backup also to restore so using this aoma backup you can easily able to take a full system backup and restore it easily and apart from this backup and restore so in this aoma backup so there is a multiple features once you go to the sync option so using this sync option you can able to synchronize the files between two folders for example if you are running a small office with a multiple computers like that means if you want to create a common folder like that means and in that common folder you want to give you access to so for other users like that means you can use this sync option so there is a four different modes one is a basic sync real time sync mirror sync and two way sync real time sync is a really good one so the real time sync is nothing but so you have to create a two folders so one is your uh, source folder and another folder is a destination folder so this is my source folder so the what are all the contents you, if i am actually putting here that will be actually reflect on the destination folder so this is a source folder and the destination folder is real time sync so here is the same uh, by you coin so what are all the changes i am actually making in this folder so that will be automatically reflect on this folder so for example if i am actually creating a new folder means now the new folder 3 has been created now in this folder also the same new folder 3 has been created in case if you want to share files to other users means in that case you can use your source uh, folder and what are the files you need you just to put it here and uh, that file will be usable to the other users so the changes will be happen instantly and uh, this is a real time sync so in this real time sync what is the thing is that so what are the changes you made in the source folder that will only reflect in the destination folder but in the destination folder if you made any changes means for example in the destination folder if i am add a folder means so that will not reflect on the source folder so that is the thing in case if you want to changes in both side of folders means so in that case you want to select the two way sync so once you select the two way sync means so after that any changes you made in the source or destination folder so that will be easily accessible to the both side of the users so now create this it's a very simple just to uh, select which mode you want and after that you just need to add a folder so add the folder what you want so i'm just adding this folder so this folder contains some of the files so just to open it so now you want to select the destination folder to share the files from the source folder so just select any one of the folder and 
and after that that's it so just click on the start sync option it will be synchronized so and after that what are all the changes you actually made in the so d drive so that will be actually reflect automatically in the e drive and what are all the changes you made in the e drive so that will be automatically reflect in the d drive so like that there is a four different modes you can use that in case if you having any needs means so these are all the some of the additional features and after that this aoma backupper professional is also comes with the cloning feature so i have posted a separate video regarding this so this is a system clone in case if you are uh, having a windows 11 pc like that means if you want to transfer your windows 11 os your c drive from one ssd to other ssd means so you can easily able to do that using the system clone without any data loss so for example in this c drive so it is actually comes with the 222 gb in case if you are planning to upgrade your c drive means so if you are planning to install a new ssd storage like that means for a 1 tb like that so during that time so you want to so move the c drive from this drive to that 1 tb drive in that case only this system clone feature will really helpful for you so you no need to back up and restore you can simply copy and paste the c drive including all the drivers os and other softwares and all the software data so from one ssd storage to other ssd or else from a hard disk drive to the uh, solid state drive or from solid state drive to the hard disk drive so whatever you can do that and also there is a disk clone also available in case if you want to clone your drive also you can easily clone that and also partition clone also available in case in a drive there is a partition so if you want to clone a particular partition means you can also clone that as per your need so this feature is also available in this AOM backup or professional and all it's are free only so I already posted a video regarding how to clone Windows 11 OS from one SSD storage to other SSD storage without losing data so you can check out that in the iCard and after that once go to the tool section so here is a lot of tools has been available one is a create bootable media so once you click on that you so you can able to create the bootable disk and also you can download the WinPE directly from the Microsoft so AOMI backup itself actually download that and after this just click on the next and here you can select the so for you can burn to the CD or DVD or you can create a USB bootable device also or else you can export the ISO file also after exporting the ISO file also you can able to create a bootable disk or burn to the CD or DVD so these are all the some of the additional tools available in this AOMI backupper and here is a recovery environment so which we already seen so once you take a system backup it will automatically set up the AOMEA recovery environment so this will really helpful for you in case your system is crashed means at that time you can boot the system with the AOMEA recovery environment so using that AOMEA recovery you can easily able to restore your system so from where you lastly backed up and here is a disk wipe which, which is nothing but in case if you want to format means you can uh, format any drive as per your wish and uh, here is a storage management and you can also check the image so what are all the backups so in case if you back it up means you can check this image so uh, whether the backup is perfectly or not like that so once you check the means so it will be works perfectly so overall using this AOMA backupper you can able to create a full system backup and you can restore the system backup and you can able to create a recovery environment so that uh, so in case if a system crash it means using the recovery so anytime you can able to so restore your PC at uh, what time you are previously backed up and all the backups are supported with the incremental backup so just to schedule the backups all the backups will be updated on the scheduled period so using this AOMA backupper you can able to do all these things so it is one of the best software for backing up your files and also to clone your windows os well now that's it for today video guys now what are your guys thoughts on this AOMA backupper let me know in the comment section below and i have given the link of this AOMA backupper in the description so just click and download and use it so it's a very light in weight and it's very simple user interface good so overall it's one of the very good software at a free cost for backing up your files on windows computers well now that's it for today video guys and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you are new to this channel means please subscribe to our channel below and thanks for watching this video guys mm -hmm.